you're watching a Sony Vegas compilation. What's happening guys? My name is Alex and welcome back to a brand new Vegas 15 tutorial and in this video guys I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to make an awesome lower third. Now the for the people that are first watching and like what is a lower third? Well a lower third is basically a little animation at the bottom of the screen showing your Facebook, your Twitter, your Instagram, your Google Plus, your Twitch, your Snapchat, whatever you want to put in there and everyone has been asking on my videos on the bottom of my videos you see this little animation people have been asking like how I do that well in this video I'm gonna answer all of you guys questions and first of all if you want to have this awesome template make sure to check out the description there is the actual download link to this very file as you can see right now and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do that so what you can do maybe if you have two screens put my video on the second one so you can follow along and open up the project on your main monitor so you can so you guys can do it with me so I would say let's get started. So as you can see right now we have a green uh, screen with our animation on it. What we're gonna do first of all is we're gonna customize everything is really already into the project. So let's say that you want to have like you don't need to animate anything you just want to you know it's it's so simple you just want to edit the text and that's basically it. So you just want to render it out and use your chroma key on the green screen and that's how to do it. So I would say let's get started. So as you can see right now we are in Vegas Pro 15 and in this video I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to create that awesome lower third. So if you play back the video, as you can see, boom, this uh, little animation appears. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna edit the text what you see on this little uh, animation. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find uh, the text file. So I'm gonna just, you know, open up all the, you know, the tracks a little bit more so you can see it. And as you can see right here, we would just want to find the text. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for the text uh, files of this project. So let's go ahead and let's see which one this is. We're gonna click on this little icon to edit it. And as you can see right now, it says Facebook. Now as you can see, this little box is popping up and if your OCD is kicking in and you want to have Facebook with the capital letter, obviously what you can do is you can just edit it to, let's say, like Facebook with a capital letter. Very straightforward. And if you wanna go in detail, you can obviously move the word Facebook to the beginning, to next to the icon. So that's gonna be really cool. And now we're gonna edit this little bottom one. I'm gonna make the uh, quality a little bit better like so now we're gonna go to the very bottom one and as you can see right here it says facebook.com forward slash John C John Cy I don't know but what we're gonna do is we're gonna edit this and we're gonna just type in facebook.com forward slash just Alex Halford. Now as you can see it fits in just on you know on the little surface that we have right here You can also make it a little bit smaller if you want to like this. So that looks really cool and now our first Facebook um, Like you know template is done. We're gonna move on to the second one But who like let's be honest who uses Google Plus these days? So we're gonna remove this so we're, what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and replace this with Twitch project media Right here, it is filled with everything that's included in the project. What we're gonna do is we're gonna look for the uh, Google Plus icon and we're gonna replace this with the Twitch icon. You could just find the Twitch logo on, on Google. You wanna download that and I'm gonna replace that one real quick with the Twitch logo. Which is going to be this one, as you can see, but it doesn't really fit. What I did is I just created a new video track and I resized the icon with the track motion icon. Pretty straightforward and as you can see, it is appearing on the screen really nicely. But what we're gonna do then is we're gonna go ahead and change this orange color, this one, to purple. So we're gonna click on this little icon and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna look for the purple one. Uh, until it matches with the twitch icon. I think this one looks pretty solid So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for the solid color Which is gonna be purple and as you can see right now It looks really cool and we just replaced Google Plus with twitch now What we're gonna do it works the exactly the same just go ahead and change the text like I showed you guys for Facebook What we're gonna do is I'm just gonna type in twitch dot TV slash just Alex Halford Pretty straightforward, pretty cool, pretty simple. And go ahead and look for the text one, which says Google Plus, we're gonna change that to Twitch. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick the top one. Is that gonna be Twitch? It is going to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove Google Plus and I'm gonna type in Twitch. Well, not Zitch, I'm gonna call it Twitch. So now we're, we're gonna go ahead and also replace this uh, to the very beginning as you guys can see and that's how to do it guys So basically we're gonna go ahead and move on to Twitter And it's gonna be really simple go to the bottom one like you guys like I like I showed you guys and obviously what you want to do is obviously change this from Twitter to 
It's twitter.com forward slash Alex Halford. It's going to be so straightforward and so simple. You just want to go ahead and change the text. Now, Twitter also has to be with a capital letter. So just let's go ahead and just type in Twitter again. Place this guy next to the logo and it's, going, and it's going to appear really nicely. And also go to the end for Instagram. Do the exact same thing. Go ahead and change the Instagram word with a capital letter Instagram and move it also to the beginning so that looks really tight and now go ahead and go to the bottom one and change it from Instagram.com forward slash your name in my case it's going to be Alex Halford so let's go ahead and remove it Instagram.com forward slash Alex Halford and as you guys can see right now we have a fully customized um, uh, lower third Facebook.com twitch.tv, twitter.com, and instagram.com. So that's how to do it. The only thing you want to do is select everything, obviously, and you just want to render it out, and then you want to use a chroma key. Just pick, you guys know how the chroma key works. Just pick the green that you guys see, and then you will see through it, and that's basically how to do it, guys. So this is how you create an awesome lower third. If you guys want to see more of those videos, make sure to smash the like button down below. Also, make sure to smash the subscribe button down below for more videos, and I will see you guys tomorrow with a brand new Vegas 15 tutorial because I will be uploading one Vegas tutorial every single day for the entire month of September so I'm so stoked to show you guys lots more stuff so that's how to create an awesome lower third if you guys are excited for this make sure to let me know in the comments as well so that's it that's all I have for you guys today and I'll see you guys obviously in tomorrow's video What's happening guys, my name is Alex and welcome back to a brand new Vegas 15 tutorial and in this video guys I'm going to show you guys exactly how to reduce the lag of your preview screen because many people that have downloaded and installed Vegas 15 will encounter a lot of lag in the preview screen. Well I'm going to show you guys how to remove, uh, well how to re reduce that real quick in this video. So I would say make sure you smash the like button down below already and I would say let's get started. So as you can see right now we are in Vegas 15 as always and this is just a video of me talking about the whole demonetization thing. If you want to see that video, make sure to check out the description. You can find the link there. So what we're going to do in order to reduce the lag in Sony, well, in Vegas 15 Pro, we're going to complete a few steps in order to reduce the lag. So the first thing what we're going to do is if your preview is lagging a lot, what you want to do, except of, you know, buying more RAM and actually spending money, what we're going to do for free in this video is we're going to right click on this clip. We're going to go to properties at the bottom. Then we're going to go ahead and uncheck maintain aspect ratio and more importantly we're going to disable the resample. Now if we can click on OK that's going to make it a little bit less laggy. But the most important thing is this right here. If everything is on full like this if I put every little setting to full that's going to cause a lot of lag in the video. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off and go to preview let's put this one to half now what we're gonna do if you want to reduce it even more put everything to half so go to good half go to best half and if you put it even to quarter as you can see the quality reduces a lot but if I play back the video it is lag free now that's a really simple method to do that but if I put everything on full uh, my video still plays without lag because I have a really powerful computer but for the people that have a less uh, strong computer uh, what you want to do is just want to go ahead and click on this little icon project video properties then what you want to do is go ahead and click on the drop down menu and put hdv 7 20 30p and then you want to click on apply and this is basically how to reduce the lag guys it is a really simple tutorial really short as well and the battery is going dead so i have to be quick so that's it for the video guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys tomorrow in a brand new vegas 15 tutorial as always so i'll catch you guys tomorrow What's happening guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new Vegas 15 tutorial and as you guys clearly can see I'm not wearing a cap because I went to the uh, I went to the hairdresser, got a really nice cut as you can see so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just keep my head off for the entire video, I think this is going to be the very first Vegas tutorial without any you know beanie or caps I would say, make sure to smash the like button down below already and I would say let's get started. So as you can see right now, like I, say, like I showed you guys in the intro, I'm going to show you guys 
exactly how to create the actual uh, glitch effect in Vegas 15. I've never done this before on my channel, so I would say let's get started. So as you can see right now, what we're going to do is we're going to open up a blank file in uh, Vegas Pro 15. And then what we're going to do, the first thing is we're going to go ahead and go to media generators. Then we're going to scroll all the way down until we see titles and text. Now we're going to drag that one onto our timeline, very obvious. And what we're going to do is we're going to just, you know, make two different uh, text files. So I'm going to show you guys how to make the transition as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just go ahead and type in subscribe. As you can see, I'm going to type in that word. And what we're going to do then is we're really going to go ahead and, you know, pick a different font because it has to look very cool. And, and you know, the standard fonts are always, you know, a little bit uh, not really that impressing. So I'm going to just, you know, pick a different font. I think this one looks pretty cool. Now what we're going to do is we're going to just copy this one, press control C, control V, very obvious. And we're going to just press control V and we're going to paste that. And I'm going to just type in subscribe. And then the second one, we're going to type in uh, for more. So I'm going to just go ahead and do that. Add a little uh, exclamation mark. So that looks really cool. And right now we're going to make uh, the text glitch and the transition and everything. So we're going to add in a new video track, right click, uh, insert video track. Then we're going to go to media generators as well. We're going to click on test pattern and we're going to pick those colored bars. Now what we're going to do is we're going to drag that one on top of the uh, video track. Now we're going to apply a little bit more effects onto this, uh, onto, onto those bars. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the video effects tab and we're going to start off with a TV simulator. So we're going to go ahead and scroll down until we see the letter T, obviously, which is going to be this one TV simulator and drag in the reset to none on top of the bars. And then the only thing what you want to do, guys, is mess around with uh, the line sync static. So I'm going to just drag this guy to the very beginning. I think this one looks per uh, very cool. Also drag that first one until you're happy with it. And then also the static a little bit up, as you can see. So now we have uh, added the TV simulator. We're going to just go ahead and close this for now. Then we're going to go ahead and go to the video effects tab. And we're going to pick pixelate. So I'm going to scroll up until we are... Uh, until we land on the P. So I'm going to go ahead and let's see where it is right here. It says pixelate, just, you know, drag the default one on top of the colored bars as well. And just want to mess around with those, uh, you know, pixelations until you're happy with it. I think those look very cool as you can see nice and pixelated. Then what we're going to do, the last thing is we're going to go to the compositing mode of the track of the bars, as you can see, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to pick custom. Then this box is popping up and we want to pick a Vegas displacement map. We're going to click on add, click on OK, very obvious. I click on OK as well. And as you can see, uh, the text is actually uh, glitching. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make this one a little bit uh, smaller because we want the glitches to be very short as you can see like this. That looks really cool. Then what we're going to do is we're going to shorten this. Um, as you can see, this uh, text track, we're going to drag the other one underneath it. So it's going to, uh, you know, change into the other word, which, as you can see, subscribe for more. So if we play this back, this is basically how I did it. So it's playing back. And as you can see, it's, it, it is just, you know, glitching into the other one. So that is basically how I did it. And obviously, you know, all the glitch sound effects, you can drag that. And I'll, I'll drag that in real quick for you guys to show. So as you can hear, this one sounds pretty cool to use. Just press S here, press S here, delete everything else, and you just want to time it underneath the glitch. So this is what it looks like. So that's basically how to do it, guys. This is how you create the aesthetic effect. And that is going to be for this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys tomorrow with a brand new one, which is going to be a very advanced one. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure to stay tuned for tomorrow's video, like I said, because I've been working really hard on that video. And this is going to be the very first one, uh, uh, the, you know, the tutorial without any, you know, hats and, and caps. So that's basically it for this video, guys. And lastly, I want to ask you guys to just smash the like button down below and also the subscribe button. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Just Alex Halford.